Hello and welcome back to Speedy Typing. Today I'm going to be looking at the NitroType Teacher Portal, explaining what it does and how to use it. So we're just going to go to Teacher Login right here. It's very simple to create an account. I already have one created. Okay, so this is your classroom, basically your classroom page. There is about four tabs up here, maybe five or six. They have their news posts down here. But basically what this is called is this is called the dashboard and this gets you your real-time activity feed. So for example, if Susie is racing right here and she's done maybe two races in the past five minutes or whatever, then it'll show that right here, her class, first name, last name, display name on NitroType. Pretty cool. You have all those listing. I think this is more comprehensive than the stats page. Updates every 30 seconds. This is really useful if you're a teacher running multiple classrooms at the same time or just a larger classroom, you have this real-time activity feed, you can just sit back at your computer and watch those stats come in. This is a very useful feature. Okay, so then you have your classes. You can create a new class, and it's very simple to do that. You can add students, and I really like this part because you have your self-join link right here. So if I were a student, then I can just put this in and then use my existing NitroType account to link it to the classroom, or I can create a new NitroType account basically take you through the login and the sign up process and once you do that then you're part of the, the part of the classroom okay and then you can sync with google classroom also class link i believe um and a few other maybe a few other features but what i really like here is that you click on speedy typing class and then you can click edit class settings and then this is your grade period but here you can choose to pause or leave your class active and basically what this will do is if the class is paused and you click save all changes and then I log in I'm unable to log in because my instructor has paused my class now this is really useful if I'm a teacher and I want to set limits on the amount of typing that people are doing while they're at my school it could be a bit overreaching if for example I'm a student and I race on NitroType during the day and then I come to school and I race on NitroType at my school but then my teacher pauses the class until tomorrow and this would be really restricting on myself so I'd recommend that if you're a student who's looking into the teacher portal and your teacher wants you to join one then just go and create a new account um, and save your old account so you can race on it during the day if your teacher is using the paused feature but I would say if you're a student probably the biggest benefit of being able to pause or activate your class is that if your account has been hacked and there's a hacker going and selling your cars and stuff just pause the class and then they can't do anything else to your account contact support and support will get your account back before they do any serious damage I think this is great for students who want to be able to have that ability when their account is being hacked sure and then you can um, change your students ability to view and send race emojis so this is basically like the stickers and the hello impressive like that page on the friends page so view and send you can turn that on and off enable race team status updates um, so here it says that some schools view them as a form of chat, so they can be disabled if this violates school policy. Okay, this is pretty cool because, you know, legal stuff. But I don't see why anyone would turn off the race emojis. Team status makes more sense, but the race emojis, I don't see why you turn that off, but it's nice that you have the feature that you can. And then you have your private classmates page here, so you can choose whether, when I log in, Oh, I haven't saved the change. Okay, so when you log in as a student, then you have your class here, and this is basically the class page where it shows your words per minute, level overall for the class, accuracy, class races, last race, and then your season participation in the class. So how many races you've done for the season? Oh, I'm really close to 2,000. Um, I think this is a neat tool for students, just to be able to compete with other people in their class. I like this feature. And then you have your messages, which you saw when I logged in, and basically, if you have a, if you log in as a student then this class message is going to show up as soon as you log in welcome to speedy typings class i hope you have a great day you can do something like everyone join a team today or a great job today guys we're going to have like a pizza supper or whatever right and this class much i think it's just a really cool way for teachers to be able to communicate directly with their students online Okay, so then we're going to go to reports, this page here, and this is really cool. You can click like overall run report, and that's going to bring up all your students for all your classrooms if you choose. And then their play time total race is fastest speed, average speed, average accuracy, print this off. This is basically like a report card you can make it for students to bring home and show their parents how much they've improved. I really like this feature that you can run this report. And then you also have their, um, this blog right here. So this basically just leads you to the NitroType homepage. 
or sorry, the news page, and then you have this support page, and I think this is really cool because you have these different articles that I, apparently Fernando Cote has wrote. I don't, I think he's part of the, te he must be part of the teaching.com team, but basically you can read all these articles and it will help teachers creating their class or just basic like information on nitrotype, like why was my team disbanded? Teams are automatically disbanded if the captain has been inactive for over four months. Please contact support to get five million back to your account as a compensation. Okay, this is a really cool thing. I'm not sure many people knew that teams are going to be automatically disbanded if their captain has been inactive. That's really cool there. So they have these nice articles that you can read. I would recommend that both racers read over these and teachers. But then you can go back to the Nitrotype teacher portal. And then you have um, the purchase gold licenses ability. So you can choose the amount of licenses that you want to buy for your class. Say you have maybe 10 students, it's going to cost $100, pay with credit card purchase order. That's pretty cool. Okay, then you go back to your classes. And if I find my, if I find my students, so if I click on this, each student here, then I have the amount of races that they've done since a set period of time, which is pretty cool. The, it's very basic, the word sprint and the accuracy. The last 100 races. But what I really like here, and this is something that's, I, don't, I didn't know that they were recording under Nitrotype, but you can see how small that scroller button is. And that's because this page records every single login that you have ever done on Nitrotype ever, ever back since I logged in the first time on February 16 at 9.13 p.m. 2016 on Safari on a Mac. And it records every single login from then up till now. I didn't know that they were recording this. This is so awesome that they have recorded their logins. This is really useful for teachers. It's also really useful for like just students to like go and check when you logged in, what time you logged in. This is a very neat feature about the teacher portal that I didn't even know that they were recording these types of things and then I just throw it on the teacher portal. It's a very neat feature. Okay, so I think that's all about the teacher portal that I have for both teachers. If you're, if you're a teacher watching this video, then I hope that this has been a good explainer to show you how to use the teacher portal. And if you're a student, then go and create like a teacher account or get your parents to. Um, it's very useful stats and you can see how you're improving um, many useful features in the teacher portal that should be included in Nitrotype that they've included in the teacher portal. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button, like button, and comment. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.